Hello and welcome to Aquarius Rising Tarot. I want to thank you all for joining me. This message is for Capricorn. This will be a love reading for the rest of November, but I ask these messages to resonate and have something for each of you whenever you come across them. This is going to be a you and them love reading. I'll have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone that you're thinking about, and someone who's thinking about you. I want to thank you all for liking, subscribing, commenting, donating, and ordering personal readings. You make it possible for me to do this, and I love you all so much. So Capricorn, let's get into this. What is going on, Capricorn? What is the heart of the matter? What's on your mind concerning this connection right now? What is the heart of the matter? three. We're just going to get one. Okay. What is the heart of the matter? What are some things happening in your daily life that might be influencing this connection? What is going on in your heart space, Capricorn? How are you feeling in your heart? And what are some intentions that you might have? Interesting. And the potential outcome. Wow. Powerful energy is coming through here, Capricorn, but that does not surprise me. I love reading for you all. I love connecting with you all. Okay, let's look at your person. I'm going to get their cards and we're going to get into this. What is the heart of the matter for Capricorn's person? What are they thinking about this connection right now? What are they thinking about this connection right now? What is going on in their daily life? What are some things happening in the daily life of Capricorn's person? What is going on in their heart space? How are they feeling? No. What are some intentions they might take? And what is a potential outcome? definitely thinking about you Capricorn I have to say it and I mean they are they are very into you it's interesting how they're handling it so I'm excited to get into this okay for the heart of the matter we have the eight of wands Aries Leo Sagittarius energy communication, forward movement, going back and forth, talking, ideas, passionate ideas, creative ideas, seeing where things can go. I feel like you are into this person. Like you are all about them. You're like, let's go for it. I, I feel like when you talk to them, you want to talk more. When you hear from them, you're excited. When there is back and forth, there's just an energy between you that, that you don't feel like when you talk to anyone else, there's something about when you see their name pop up that's like, I don't know, it's just, it's just joy for you. No matter what the two of you are talking about, like you really like communicating with this person. Your person is in the Hierophant energy, interesting Taurus. This person wants to do the right thing. They want to do things properly. They have very strong feelings for you, possibly much deeper than you even realize. They want to introduce you to the family, maybe their friends. They, I mean, they want to possibly make something official down the road with you. They have some serious feelings about you, but I just get this sense. Like I'm feeling like perfection, like I have to do this right. I want to do this right. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting a clarifier on that. Like, why is this person being such a such a perfectionist about their feelings? Because you are just so excited, Capricorn, and just ready to go for it. In your daily life, you have the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Your feelings, not only are you very excited and positive about this person and very motivated to see where things can go, your feelings run deep. They really do. I mean, there is something... 
within you that just knows at your core. I mean, because this is like Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. This is such a deep feeler. And I mean, sometimes, especially with the Scorpio, I'm getting a lot of Scorpio vibes here. You, they can be very calm on the surface, but have this really intense depth to them. And that's a very Capricorn kind of thing as well, too. So I feel like there's this calm because I'm seeing all this blue, like this calm vibe that you have. And, and you're talking to this person, but you're not going to like jump out of your skin and be like, oh, I'm so in love with you. You know, I mean, you might, um, but um, <laughs> that's your own business. But I do feel like it's like you're kind of trying to remain calm about it. But there's so many deep feelings here and it's just undeniable your attract attraction to this person. Your person is in the Ten of Cups in your daily life. So they're excited to hear from you too. And I mean, I have to say with the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups, that's long-term commitment, happily ever after kind of vibes right there. That's getting married. That's having family. Having family doesn't necessarily mean kids. Sometimes it does, but a lot of times it can just mean, you know, you have like your soul family, you have your people, you, you know, you have, you share the same friends, you know, when you're in a long-term commitment, like you share friends and things like that. Like this person, I feel like they kind of want to share you with the world. They want to take you out and be like, I just see how this person has their arms kind of around them, that they're like they want to take you out and be like this is this is my person like they're with me and it's very positive the way that they're feeling in your heart space once again a lot of powerful energy here capricorn is the wheel of fortune like this is luck expansion positivity prosperity forward movement travel i mean with the eight of wands and the wheel of fortune like if this person said i want to see you you would probably jump on a plane and go see them and that's obviously not for everyone you might jump in a car or whatever you know but if the person like you said showed like the interest like you are all about it capricorn i really feel like you are and in your heart you may have held back feelings for a long time because with the Wheel of Fortune upright, it means that maybe some things have been in reverse that are now spinning upright. And you may have held back for a time some of your feelings, things like that. But now you really do want to see where this can go. Someone also, I feel like, wants to move towards you. I am seeing more travel vibes here, and I haven't seen this in every reading, but with the Wheel of Fortune... And the two of wands, how they're healing, <laughs> healing, holding the world in their hand, looking out over the water. We have this eight of wands kind of flying through the air. It's like if the two of you are far apart, you think about being together. You think about seeing one another, what that would be like to see each other. Again, for some of you, some of you for the first time, and some of you, obviously, it's not going to be the distance. We have a lot of different people watching these. But there's something about your person that feels like they have a little more they, they need to do to be ready to make this trip. And when I say trip, it doesn't necessarily, like I said, mean traveling. It can just mean like this trip, <laughs> I don't know, down the aisle <laughs> or towards it. <laughs> like, sorry, I'm just laughing at myself. Um, and towards like the serious commitment, like that kind of trip. That's that's all I mean. Or, or towards communicating more. This person is sort of standing here, aware of you, aware of the connection with this Ace of Wands, like wanting to talk, looking at the world, but I still feel like they're sort of surveying things. Like you're the wheel of fortune, you're ready to go. And yet this person is still kind of surveying things. With the death card in your intentions, more Scorpio energy. That is powerful. And I'm looking forward to seeing the clarifier on this because part of me thinks maybe you feel like you might not have a chance with this person. Like maybe you held back for a while. Maybe you're concerned it's been too long. Maybe you feel like they aren't interested. Like, I don't know if you're sure that you have a chance with this person. And I feel like you might even go back and forth in, in your mind because these, these energies, 
we have like all this forward movement and then the death card it's like stop so almost it's almost like you might really open up talk to them and everything and then all of a sudden it's like oh why did i say that are they even interested you know it's almost like this tug of war kind of energy but we're going to find out more with your clarifier exactly what's going on there you might be leaving some other things behind in your life oh yeah i do see that because this this death card and scorpio energy is deep like it's deep there is there they can love so powerfully um that it completely transforms their life. And there's something about this connection that's completely transformed you. But I do see you going straight towards this connection. It's almost as if, like, I don't know if there's a chance. I don't know if this is person is interested. I don't know if it's over. But my feelings and this depth is still pushing me forward to see what could be there what is still alive what is possible your person with their intentions has the ace of swords that's really positive they do want to talk to you they want a fresh start they're thinking about you differently if this is someone that you connected with in the past they're kind of seeing you differently too they're thinking new thoughts about you and it's surprising them a little bit like, I feel like you've just kind of showed up and you've done sort of a 360 with this Wheel of Fortune and it's got your person's head spinning a little bit and they're thinking these new thoughts. Like, I thought I knew Capricorn. I thought they were like this. And now all of a sudden you show up this way and it's got them thinking differently about you. But I do feel like they want to they wanna start something up and I'll show you why in a second. But, um... You've got a Knight of Swords. You've got a Nine of Cups and you've got a Two of Swords. This Knight of Swords is running straight towards you. So here is your person with this Ace of Swords in their hand, ready to speak, ready to communicate, ready to talk about what's next, what is the potential, that sort of thing. And, or just talk. I mean, the Ace of Swords has a lot to do with intellect. You know, you could just be connecting, communicating, that sort of thing. But this Knight of Swords comes right in. So there's some sort of communication that, I mean, I feel like it, <laughs> like it sweeps you off your feet a little bit. Like it takes you a little bit by surprise. I'm just seeing all this movement, all this air. And that's why I say like sweeps you off your feet because I feel like for a second this message comes in and you're like, you have to catch your breath. Like it takes you by surprise a little bit, Capricorn. And it is something that you have been wishing for with this Nine of Cups, very positive. And I mean, honestly, it could be somebody saying, if it is somebody that lives around or whatever, can we get a drink together? Can we go out and see one another? Um, it is something you have been very much wishing for and hoping for. And yet there's something here that you are still deciding. And we're gonna pull some clarifiers and see what's going on with that. It could be that you might be overthinking a little bit. This person could be communicating with you and you might be overthinking it a little bit, being like, well, I thought they didn't care. Now maybe they do. Are they just being nice? Like there might be just a little overthinking here, guarding your heart just a little bit because if something really seemed like it was over, you suffered that, you grieved that, you felt that, you felt the pain of something that might have possibly ended. And now if somebody just comes in all of a sudden and it's a wish come true, there's a part of you that is thinking, why this, why now, what's going on, you know? And is, is a little bit guarded, but your emotions are there. The water is emotions. You're aware of your feelings. The moon is your intuition. Like you know how you feel. I just think, you might be up in your head just a little bit about it and I'm excited to get a little more details on that. Your person is in an interesting energy too because they have the Knight of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. It's like they, they, they start to maybe flirt, maybe come in, maybe be kind of sweet, maybe even a little romantic. And then all of a sudden they're having like this inner battle with the five of wands. <laughs> like 
what did I say? What did I do? What's going to happen? Like, wait a second. Like, I don't want to say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing. Do they feel the way I do? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And if I did not mention it, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So we do have something, um, several things represented. I feel like the majors are Scorpio, Hierophant. I get a lot of Sagittarius from the Wheel of Fortune. Um, different readers are different. But anyway, I feel like this person is also a little bit up in their head about their emotions and their feelings towards you and where it could lead. So it's almost like they start to tell you how they feel. Then they kind of get in their head a little bit and and go in circles. And should I say that? Or what's going to happen? And I have maybe this I'm supposed to be doing and I could lose myself in this. Like they're having all these feelings because there is a lot of deep feelings here. And then with the seven of pentacles, they're like, maybe I should just wait till the right moment. <laughs> Maybe I should be patient. Maybe they don't feel the way I do. You know, that sort of thing. But they also know the moment is now. I mean, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have planted. The, the trees have grown. The fruit is ready. And it's time to harvest. And you've put a lot into this. And you know it's time to harvest. But then you pause for a moment. And you think about it and let's get some details on this why do we got this tug of war two people that have strong feelings for one another clearly interested in one another what are we waiting for what's this like internal battle going on here what's the indecisiveness let's see what we can find out why do we have the eight of wands why do we have the Eight of Wands here for you, Capricorn? Why do we have the Hierophant for your person? Oh my goodness, now all the details come out. Okay. You do want to communicate and talk and move forward with this person. With the Ten of Swords, there may have been some miscommunication. There may have been some sort of complete ending with this person. They could have gotten really quiet. It could be even with you that you're concerned if you do talk and reach out, maybe they're not going to respond. And maybe you're just going to be sitting there like holding this offer in your hand, wondering how they feel. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's a little fear about putting yourself out there. Let's see if I can get one more. One more card for you. I feel like this has been this has been painful for you. Like you like genuinely like talking to this person. So when there's they're quiet, it's a little confusing. Yeah. Eight of Cups, Knight of Wands. Do I talk? Do I move forward? Do I walk away? Do they want to hear from me? I haven't had. I've been doing readings. <laughs> um all day and I haven't had anything quite like this where there's so much back and forth energy but you are genuinely interested in this person like them a lot want to talk to them you have very deep feelings here but there's been some pain in this in this connection there's been some tough moments and I feel like I feel like you want to talk to them and tell them how you feel, but you also aren't really sure if they feel the same way. So your person, the Hierophant, is clarified by the Four of Cups. Like I said, they want to do something right. I feel like they are aware of your, their, your feelings for them. And I don't feel that they're particularly happy in their life without you. But something is keeping them from reaching out and accepting this cup. It's like they're trying to do something right. Let's try and get a little more information on this. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune on both sides here. Whatever the case, whatever has happened in this connection that has made the two of you pull away or have hurt feelings or get quiet, 
something is changing. It's changing now, it's changing fast, it's changing in a powerful way. We are looking at November, December energies and this person genuinely wants to move forward with you. They're very, very interested. They're not, I don't feel terribly happy in their life without you. Both of you are a little guarded. It's almost like you're waiting for the universe to make it happen in a sense. And at some point, like someone's gonna gonna step up. I do see you, I do see you both though talking to one another. It just might take a little be taking a little time. Like okay, let's find out more. So why do we have the King of Cups here? Nine of swords, gosh. There is some worry and fear about rejection here on your part, Capricorn. You do have a lot of feelings for this person. The feelings run deep and they've lasted a long time. And there's something about them and their energy that's so magnetic and attractive to you that keeps drawing you towards them. But you overthink, you don't wanna be rejected. You don't wanna get hurt again. You don't want to, you don't want to, I feel like you don't want to like lose this person either. Whoa, way too many cards. Okay. Why do they have the Ten of Cups? Why do they have the Ten of Cups? Five of Swords. No, I feel like this person is does have some concerns that there's going to be some sort of drama. It's almost as if they, I mean, when the Five of Swords is clarified by this family, it's almost as if, and this is not going to be for everyone, but that this person doesn't want to break anything up. So that's specific for someone. They don't want to cause any trouble in your life. They don't want to cause any drama. Um, wow, but we got the Three of Swords in reverse. It's quite possible that's, that's what it is. This person had these hopes for this connection and then something happened, somebody walked away, something was painful, somebody got quiet, and it took them some time, but with the Three of Swords in reverse, this person is healing from something. They're healing from some hurt feelings, they're healing from uh, some something that didn't quite go right. Like there was something could have been said on either side, I'm not sure, but something that could have been hurtful, something that could have been done that was hurtful, something that left them kind of hurt and confused. And they're healing with that Three of Swords in reverse, but I don't feel like it's happening overnight. So why do we have the Wheel of Fortune? Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you want to work this out, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. I feel like you're also willing to be patient with this person and do what it takes to see that things spin in an upward direction. You feel like you've put some energy in here, that you have good feelings. Some There is something that can definitely work out. I do feel like you have this, you have this patience here, Capricorn, to kind of see this through whatever the situation is. But I feel like you're kind of waiting. I don't know what you're waiting for. Waiting for messages, waiting for something to change, waiting for someone to respond or tell you how they feel. Like there's a kind of waiting energy, but there is this desire for momentum and forward motion. Two of Wands clarified by the Strength card. 
this person for some reason is trying to be strong, is possibly reining in their emotions a little bit, trying to hold back. Leo energy is significant here. They could be re recovering from some sort of past heart heartache or something else that happened or some things that are painful that are happening in their daily life or they could be having some sort of challenge in their family. That could be what this is all about. There could be some things going on that aren't even really connected to you that they're dealing with some pain and things like that. But I feel like they want to go right towards you. But for some reason, they're they're restraining themselves a little bit. Like they're not telling you the whole story just yet, even though there's a lot of feelings here. So why do we have the death card here? If you guys hear a lot of noise, it's my kids. I know I say that all the time. But um, when I work on Saturday nights there in the living room, I'm making a lot of noise. But it's good. Okay. Why do we have the death card here? Wow. Knight of Swords and the Empress. That says the Knight of Swords twice. Divine Feminine Energy, Taurus Energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius. I feel like your feelings run very deep for this person. There may have been some concern because there's definitely some sort of miscommunication. There's definitely been some sort of hurt feeling. Someone has gotten quiet, but they know you're the one. The Empress is all about the one that there is potential here. This is something that can really go someplace. With the Knight of Swords, they might very well take you by surprise and tell you that they feel like like you're the one. This may completely surprise you because I don't know if you have any idea that this person feels this way. So why do we have the Ace of Swords for them? Why do we have the Ace of Swords in their intention? Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> they do. They do definitely want to see some things through with you. They, I feel like they began with a real hope that something could work out and then there was some kind of problem, some kind of challenge. For some of you, it's between the two of you. For some of you, it's some things happening in either of your personal lives, but they've been working through some things. They've been healing some things. They have taken their time. They have held back, but with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, this is someone very much saying that they want to, they want to have something with you that can last. I mean, with the Hierophant, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles, I have not seen all of these cards show up in one reading. This is something long term. Like this is someone who is who is pretty serious about you. I feel like you would definitely have strong feelings for them. You are absolutely interested in them. You want to see where things can go. I don't know that you have any idea that they feel like you are the one, like the one that they're that they want to they want to spend their life with. I mean, I don't see that in every reading, but I'm seeing it here. So, why do we have the Knight of Swords for you, Capricorn? Someone that may have pulled away, someone that may have walked away, someone that may have even like ghosted or gone in a different direction or not communicated is coming in to talk. A lot of Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Um, I feel like if there has been silence on this person's part towards you, it has been very painful. And I feel like that might be why you feel a little indecisive when this communication and comes in. 
but I do feel like with the Ace of Swords coming up twice, the two of you are thinking about one another. The two of you do want to talk to one another. I feel like you have a lot of things in common too. I just feel like there's this genuine connection between the two of you. And you, you genuinely enjoy one another. So why do we have the Knight of Cups for your person? Why do we have the Knight of Cups? <laughs> Six of Swords, Knight of Cups, someone that may have walked away or that you have walked away from in the past, wants to talk, wants to come forward, wants to make things right. They just do. They don't want to be distant from you. They don't want the drama. They don't want to get hurt. That is for certain. But with the Knight of Cups coming up twice, their feelings are very deep. They're very romantic. And they definitely want to flirt with you, talk to you, have fun with you, enjoy your company. Like, they like you. So why do we have the Nine of Cups here, Capricorn? Why do we have the Nine of Cups? Five of Pentacles, because you have missed them. You didn't like being apart from this person. You don't like when you don't hear from them. It's, they, you're just happier on the days that you talk. You're happier on the days that you're together. You're happier when you see them. And when you don't hear from them, it's, it's really discouraging. And you have been wishing for this, this connection, this communication for a long time. And once again, it might really take you by surprise because you may think this is over. You may think this person has moved on, but they have the Knight of Cups twice, the Hierophant, Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, they want to make an offer that is long-term. So why do we have this Five of Wands? Why do we have this Five of Wands? Oh my gosh. They are so in love with you. I'm, I'm like getting emotional. This is not easy for this person. With the Five of Wands being clarified by the lovers, Gemini energy could be significant. It's, it's almost like a personal battle for them to admit to themselves how crazy they are about you. I don't know why they're fighting themselves on this. I mean, I feel like this person has definitely been through some things. <laughs> We've, we've all been through some things. We've all been through things that make it hard to trust and keep us up at night overthinking or make us afraid to be rejected. And it's true, when the love is this powerful, the last thing you wanna do is mess it up. You know, I don't think they wanna mess it up. But ultimately, as much as they kind of like go back and forth and even like fight themselves on it, like should I, shouldn't I? They can't stay away from you. Like, their feelings are just too strong. They can't stay away from you. The Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. That feelings are very strong. So what is this Two of Swords about, Capricorn? What is this decision that you're struggling with? What's going on there? You want this too. We have the Two of Swords clarified by the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Cups. You want to manifest this connection. You also want this, this, this long term, this kind of happily ever after with this person, but there is a part of you that is afraid, almost afraid to even hope that it's possible. 
but this has a lot to do with manifestation and focus. And the Seven of Cups comes in when you think about one thing for a little bit and you think about another thing for a little bit and you think about another thing for a little bit, but you never focus on any one of the things long enough to really bring it in and make it happen. So it's almost like your mind, your emotions are in all these different directions and it gets to a point where you have to choose one cup. You have to choose one sword. You have to decide, do I really want this 10 of cups with this person? Do I really want this emotional fulfillment? Do I really want to be with this person? If I do, I have to take my emotions and I have to take my thoughts and I have to believe that this is possible and focus and manifest this beautiful connection that I am so worthy of. Like you are so worthy of this Capricorn. Both of you want this. So why do we have the Seven of Pentacles for your person? Why do we have the Seven of Pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to be sure you're ready for them. I also think that they might not be 100% sure you're available. That's not going to be for everyone. But this person doesn't know if you're in like some sort of family situation or something like that. Or if you have kids or if there's a challenge. Like if you're free, if you're available, if you're able to put all of your energy into this connection. And this person doesn't want halfway. Like they want to be with you 100%. And they're willing in a sense almost to wait until you're completely ready. Like there's a patience about this person, but it's almost like the moment that you are in this nine of pentacles energy, this good on my own, ready for a connection. I mean, this is you, this is Capricorn energy. There is nothing that stops this person from coming towards you. I just think they wanna be ready and they wanna know that you're ready. So this has gone almost 40 minutes. It's a little bit of a complicated love situation here, Capricorn, but nothing's truly complicated. It's just a matter of getting into your heart space, recognizing that you know who you are, you know what you want, you know what you deserve, and you can manifest that happiness. You're in Empress energy here. So you are getting some real clarity about who you are and the potential that you have. And I feel like this person is seeing you like this as well. Just so much potential. You are the one. It's just you being aware of that as well and knowing what you truly desire, it attracts it right to you. So we have the judgment card. We have the chariot there is a decision being made and someone is is going for it here i do feel like someone is is showing up for you i feel like in their mind and their heart this decision is already made so that is what i have for you take what's yours leave what's not if something spoke to you and you want a little more specific reading just for you i'll put all the details in the description box below I love you all. Thank you for your patience waiting for this reading. I had a huge family emergency uh, this week. It's caused me to completely relocate. I came home today to do these readings, but I'm actually um, living with someone and taking care of them until they are all better. And so it kind of set me back a little bit this week, but I have been thinking about you all and looking forward to doing this reading, and I'm so glad that I finally got to connect with you and I'll talk to you all soon.